What's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Welcome to another Thursday campfire rant. As you can see, I'm not sitting in front of a campfire, but it is smoking and steaming like a campfire. Only it's uh, not because of the fire, it's because I'm in the middle of nowhere in Utah and I'm at a hot spring, a steaming hot spring. It's pretty cool actually. And there's like probably hundreds to possibly a thousand tropical fish in this pool of hot water. It's like I see blue fish and purple fish and yellow fish. It's really, really cool. Anyway, it's, it's today's rant today is I wanna talk about camping and why we need camping more than ever in today's age. Like in society today, there are so many things going on and a lot of the stuff going on is honestly, it's just, it's this world of connectivity, but I call it just medicating ourselves, right? People nowadays are medicating themselves at a rate that's just never before been seen. I remember a few years back ago, Netflix binging was actually not a cool thing. And now it's like, that's ah, really cool. Like, what are you gonna binge this year? Cell phones, devices, I believe are becoming our greatest vices in this world. And this is why we need camping more than ever. Because camping gets you into places where you normally wouldn't go. And it's also a lot of the places you end up going there is no connection. And the best way to connect to the people that really matter more than anything else, the people that you love, the way you truly connect with them is by disconnecting from everything else, right? In this world of constant connectivity, that's truly what's actually disconnecting us from the people that we love the most more than anything else. And so this is why we need camping. We need camping more than ever before. I'm really passionate about what I do and about RVing and camping, but the reason why is because there is a joy and, and a peace and a happiness and a, con and a connection that you gain with the people that are most important by going out and camping. And, and the RV, it's not so much about the RV, it's just the RV or the camper or the trailer, it's a tool that makes it easier for you to go out and connect with the people that are most important to you. That's why I love campers. That's why I love trailers because it really does allow you to do go out and do things that you don't normally do. Now going on vacation, I love going on vacations, right? I love going to the beach and resorts and hotels. All of that stuff is fun. Disneyland, Disney World, whatever it is. I love all of those things, but it's different. Camping is different because when you go to wherever you go, whether you go to Hawaii or to Paris or to Disney, I've noticed that the purpose of those trips is to be entertained by external things, things that are outside of you. you. You go and look at things outside of you and that is what you're experiencing, your entertainment. But camping is a little bit different because guess what your entertainment becomes? It's not, hey, let's go look at that tower or hey, let's go on this ride. Instead, it's sitting around a fire pit and your entertainment is the people sitting across from you, talking, cherishing these moments and they become some of the greatest moments the greatest memories of your life i grew up camping my parents have owned campers and rvs my whole life and my most fondest memories as a child were actually camping in our rvs or our fifth wheels or our travel trailers whatever it was going to national parks sitting around the campfire roasting schmores those to me are some of my most fondest memories and that's why i love what i do so much because it gives i'm essentially giving people access to do those things in a, in a way that's easier and it's more accessible. And, and, and when you buy that tool, when you take it out, you, you tend to do it more frequently. And if you don't, you need to, right? That's the whole purpose. And I just wanna tell one last story. I was at a party a little while ago and I, I met the, I have a friend and he was telling me, acquaintance, I should say, not close friend, but he's like, uh, oh, what, what do you do for work? And I was like, oh, I sell RVs. And he's like, no way. And he's like, man, you know, I rented an RV and took my whole family camping. And I, I've taken my kids all over the world, to Fiji, to Paris, to Greece, and it was, so, it was these incredible trips. And then I rented an RV one time, and we went out and camped around and went to the national parks for a couple weeks. And I was asking my kids, hey, of all the places you've gone to, 
Fiji, Bora, like this guy's pretty wealthy, right? He's chartered jets for these trips, right? And he's like, of all the places, he's like, man, I, I dropped 50, 100 grand on one trip, right? For the whole, all the kids. And I ask him, where's your favorite trip you've ever been on? And all the kids, he said, unanimously were like, the RV. <laughs> and I just think it's so cool. I love, I love RVing, I love camping, and it is a unique, it's a unique experience. It's not like anything else. And I, and that's why I love it. So hopefully you're learning something. Hopefully this inspires you to hopefully go out and camping and get an RV and go and have fun and enjoy it. Because the reality is it's just, it's a way to connect with the people that are most important to you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share it with somebody. And have a wonderful day. And we'll hopefully see you camping someday soon. Bye-bye.